guys, welcome. Uh, today we've got a 2014 Audi Q5 and we're going to be doing an inside and out detail on this guy uh, with the engine bay detail add-on. Looks like there's a little bit of damage there, but uh, outside's fairly dirty. The wheels are pretty filthy. There's some bird crud and uh, the wheel archers are always a mess, especially during winter time. There's even more crud on the road. Uh, there's a little more bird crud, but uh, overall the vehicle dent and scratch wise isn't too bad um, Here's the engine we're gonna be doing the engine bay detail So that'll be the first thing that I'm doing but just doing kind of a preliminary walkthrough seeing what I'm working with and uh, I'll double check make sure the air box is uh, all sealed off and, uh, There's the oil cap and everything, radiator and everything's all sealed up. Trunk was a bit dirty back here. Um, these thin trunk mat things are kind of hard to clean because they're not very plush. Um, so it's hard to kind of agitate and lift that dirt to the surface. Door jam seals are a bit dirty. And just overall the inside was a bit crummy and messy and hairy. So. Thankfully they've got all weather mats, which is always a blessing. I really don't like the typical carpet mats. Uh, they take a lot longer to clean, especially if they're stained up and things. So the front is super messy. Um, not a ton of stains, but a lot of crumbs and just overall debris. So got a little bit of a uh, work ahead of myself uh, to get this thing cleaned up. But as you can see, we'll just uh, wrap up showing the little walkthrough here of condition of everything and we'll get straight into vacuuming here in a little bit and this uh, gas tank thing geez I don't think that jam's ever been cleaned so yeah there's some definitely uh, messy areas that we're gonna have to take care of and there's some weird speaker or wire or something that was all throughout so <clears throat> the two front seats also on the uh, bottom part had some weird like looked like almost uh, melt damage or something I wasn't sure what was up with that but seats weren't too bad and it had been a little while since the guy had brought the car over to me so the engine was still just a teeny bit warm but uh, not hot so any little steam is just from the motor being a little bit warm it's not a big deal I wouldn't pressure wash with cold water when the engines hot that would just be asking for problems but um when it's just slightly warm that's that's fine so here i just did a quick pressure wash rinse get some of that loose dirt and stuff knocked out and then uh, go in there with my wheel and tire um, uh, super soft brush and go and get all the major parts um, careful around some of the electronic wires and things that might be breakable um, the fuel injector areas um we're kind of exposed so i was just careful around those don't want to bust anything off and uh, cause problems for myself so get in there with the detail brush where i can and get this thing uh, cleaned up and looking way better than it was I do appreciate when the customer adds on an engine bay detail i wouldn't say it's a super common occurrence um to get it but um, it is nice because it doesn't take a whole lot of time and it kind of adds to the profitability of um, doing the detail if they don't add any other little optional add-on so uh, it is uh, nice getting that on added on there and then of course the wheel wells are just a big old mess they're uh, carpeted up in there and there's just tons of pine needles and all sorts of crud in there dirt and mud and everything so we'll get those uh sprayed out and looking way better than uh, they're currently looking and try to get some of that uh, crud that's stuck on those stupid fabric uh, wheel well liners off of there and then we'll move on to the wheel to tire combination I got my IK foamer with uh, DIY detail, all clean, diluted 15 to 1, which is a standard uh, dilution ratio for uh, exterior cleaning. And it does a, um, a pretty darn good job getting the wheels clean. I mean, it's 
breaking up the brake dust and everything and getting the wheels and tires uh, pretty clean. I can't make any uh, complaints about it. And uh, I bought it in gallon form, so I'll have uh, plenty to use for quite some time. So I'm pretty impressed uh, with the DIY details uh, all clean. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have used any uh, DIY details um, supplies, um, chemical supplies or towels or um, anything else that they offer and sell. Um, I've been impressed with everything I bought so far. So. This was hands down the worst uh, gas door cap uh, interior little jam area that I have ever seen and cleaned. Uh, it looked like it had never been cleaned since uh, it was brand new. So I went in there and sprayed it with all clean and scrubbed it with my detail brush just trying to get every little nook and cranny and getting it <laughs> uh, as good as I could and cleaned off as I could. There's still some stains on there that wouldn't come off but um, it's way better than uh, it was so uh, here's a different camera angle view so you can kind of see what I was working with with those carpeted liners uh, trying to get the pressure washer in there nice and close so I can uh, blast that crud off of there um, it's not possible to get everything off there but just make it drastically different from what it was will make things a lot better the door jams had a fair amount of grit and dirt on them, so I'm just doing a preliminary blast off before I hit it with the wheel and tire brush and uh, get any more dirt on there than already um, going to be. So then we'll just get these rinsed off and go through and do the rest of the door jams. And This thing's pretty dirty uh, on the outside, so I'm going to be doing uh, dry foam over the whole area. Uh, don't want to pressure wash it, that'll just kind of dilute the chemical more. So just break some of that dirt down and pull it off the vehicle. And then after letting it sit for a little bit, uh, we'll pressure wash that off there and then refoam it and get into the contact wash. Just trying to eliminate any more scratching on the vehicle. As I'm foaming up the car for a second time, getting ready for the contact wash, I'm curious, um, what is your guys' uh, pressure washer uh, setup and what kind of foam cannon do you uh, like to use? Um, I really like my setup uh, with the 50 foot uh, Uber Flex um, pressure washer line. The one that came with it was only 25 foot and that thing was just about useless. Just the length is just not long enough. So this 50 footer, I can pretty much reach all the way around the vehicle and uh, it makes life a lot easier. For now, I still like using the two bucket wash method and then washing from top to bottom. Um, if it's a vehicle that I'm going to do a full uh, paint correction on or something like that, um, and it's relatively clean, uh, I might just use one bucket. Um, but just have to kind of play it on uh, a case by case basis.
So the reason I'm at, uh, foaming again is the foam is starting to dry a little bit in the sun, even though the, it's kind of cloudy, but the sun is out a little bit. And I'm trying to add some extra lubricity because I'm going to get into the uh, clay, um, well, it's synthetic decontamination towel, but everyone kind of usually just calls it like the clay bar process. Um, so this will be the last step in the kind of wash, uh, decontaminate um, area, and then I'll do a final rinse, and then I'll spray on the um, wax sealant on there and dry the car off. So the clay process doesn't take very long. Um, that is if the vehicle's paint's not real bad, but uh, it really helps add some extra depth and clarity to the paint and make it pop. So uh, I feel like that's part of the detail process too. Anyway, if somebody's paying to get an exterior detail, then uh, you ought to be claying it and putting on wax protection. That's just one of the steps you ought to take. Uh, now, if they're just paying for a literal car wash, then that's different, but uh, an exterior detail should include a clay bar process, in my opinion. What do you guys think about the front end and the grill on this? I personally, I kind of like it. It fits uh, with how the rest of the car looks, but I'm kind of curious if you guys like this uh, front end on the Audi or not. Here's our final thorough rinse, and then we'll uh, put on the drying agent slash um, wax protection on there and simultaneously dry the car off and move on to the next step. I've got DIY details, uh, ceramic gloss, uh, but in this case I had uh, the Turtle Wax um, ceramic um, hybrid wax protection, um, which also doubles as a drying aid, uh, handy, so that's what I ended up using. But I do enjoy the um, DIY details ceramic gloss. It's got kind of a, I believe it's got kind of a cherry smell to it, so it smells really good when you're spraying it on there. The Audi carpets are honestly kind of on the higher end, but um, the trunk mat is flat and really thin. It's a totally different uh, carpeting material, and I'm not really impressed. Um, uh, I'd say most of the manufacturer's uh, trunk areas are this way, and so they're just kind of hard to get rid of when you got hairs and stuff that's uh, embedded in there. You have to get in there with the drill brush, sometimes blow it out with the torn door. And then, uh, thankfully there's not really any pet hair or anything, um, but if there's pet hair in there, then, uh, there's one Volkswagen Atlas where I was picking hairs out, and I probably spent an hour just on the, the trunk mat, which was, man, I don't think it was a pain, but they paid for a full, complete detail, so I've got to do my best job to get everything out. Because this trunk mat area is um, so stubborn, getting that uh, stuff up, I use a medium bristle comb brush on my impact driver, and that really helps um, get the stuff that's embedded down to the bottom of the carpet uh, kind of brought to the surface and able to be vacuumed up. So that helps a lot. Okay, moving on to the back seat area. Uh, first thing is to pull those floor mats out and pick up anything that's uh, not able to get sucked up by the vacuum. And then we'll get in there and vacuum out as much as we can. These carpets are uh, nice Audi quality and quite uh, plush, so they're way easier to get this stuff vacuumed out. 
What's your guys' vote on you, um, the brand that has the worst uh, carpeting for in terms of being able to vacuum stuff up? Uh, I think I'd personally go with uh, Toyota's. Um, they're really bad carpeting for getting things cleaned out of. But I'm curious uh, what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. As you can tell, I'm uh, using my DeWalt uh, cordless interior light bar. Um, it's really helping illuminate things. I had to pull the vehicle in because it started to rain pretty good outside. So uh, just trying to stay out of the rain and keep the rain out of the car. Uh, less moisture getting in and stuff. So um, just doing my best trying to get everything all vacuumed up and being able to see all the dirt as well. It helps a lot being able to see what you're working with. I am using my Vac Master, uh, the Beast um, vacuum, and the crevice tool is super awesome for getting between the seat tracks and the center console area, but um, it's way too thin for getting big chunks of um, trash and stuff, so I take off the tip um, when I do my very first preliminary vacuum, and then uh, put the crevice tool on there and I can get into so many nooks and crannies. Uh, it's really great to have. As you can see on this close-up here next to the seat track area, it's uh, filled with air and just all sorts of little dirt and debris and stuff. Um, so it had been quite some time since this car had been properly detailed. So um, we'll get this thing squared away. And for whatever reason, there's these wires strewn about the car. I'm not really sure what they plug into or what they work with, but they're a little bit of a hassle to work around. Vacuuming leather seats, I like to uh, gently uh, pull the seams, uh, just push them with my fingers to get any little crumbs and stuff that are stuck in this uh, stitching and the cracks and stuff. And then um, moving on to getting the rest of the car vacuumed out. Thankfully this car didn't have a bunch of stains and stuff. Um, there were some in the uh, backseat carpeting floor area, but in general it was more more just an accumulation of debris and junk. It um, wasn't a bunch of spilled drinks and stuff, which I'm thankful for because it's a little more of a pain in the butt getting a bunch of stains cleaned up. After doing some more drill brushing to do a final kind of vacuum deal, uh, knocked out some stuff in the cracks and crevices, so I'll be vacuuming again and getting all that cleaned up. Even though the initial vacuum gets quite a bit uh, going in there with the drill brush or the even the tornador, which I didn't use in this case, but um, using either just knocks a lot of stuff out of the carpet area. And uh, so doing a secondary vacuum is always a necessity. And then um, after I do the final touches, that's when I do a final touch up vacuum. But here we're just. Uh, getting the floor mats cleaned up, just scrubbing them real quick and using the drill brush. 
Uh, I used to use a chemical guy's medium bristle brush, but uh, has a little bit hard on the wrist and stuff. So using the impact driver with the comb brush, that really saves my my hands and my shoulders. And uh, I think the drill brush probably does a little bit better job getting in there uh, with quite a bit of force. Um, so yeah, this method is faster and it works better. So I'm all for that. This cup holder insert had some really nasty gooey crud stuck on there. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what was in there and I really don't want to know. Unfortunately, some of that stuff didn't come out all the way, so I had to pick it off with my finger, which uh, I don't really want to think about too much. But uh, these uh, door panel pockets in the front were really dirty as well. Uh, the drill brush took care of most of it. This one was a bit more of a pain in the butt. Um, I had to get in there and use a little bit more force to get everything cleaned off. I believe I used a steamer on the last bit or I just uh, scrubbed it with a harder bristle pad or something to get that clean, but it, that's not shown on the camera. Here I'm trying to get the trunk jams cleaned out as best as possible. Um, if the trunk jams are really bad, I'll pressure wash them, um, but sometimes it's kind of tricky getting keeping the water off the headliner and from blasting into the inside. Um, so just depending on how dirty the trunk jam is and um, kind of the design and how big the trunk jam is on the top part, um, that'll determine whether I just spray and scrub or if I use my wheel and tire brush um, on there or if I just pressure wash it first. Um, just kind of depends on a case by case basis. Besides the front door panel pockets, uh, these door panels weren't too bad, so I just used a PNS interior cleaner diluted one to one with a microfiber rag, and that worked great getting these things cleaned up. We're getting a bit closer to getting everything done detail-wise, uh, just wiping down the plastics, interior trims, uh, seats and everything, and getting everything uh, spick and span, so the detail will be done too soon. Now this Audi had some S-Line badging on it. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means or how that's special compared to a uh, regular Audi Q5. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I always try to get leather seats as clean as possible, so oftentimes I found um, after I do a preliminary clean or just to start, um, using the um, toothbrush works really good when I just use some PNS interior cleaner on there, and that helps get into um, dirty stitching and some crumbs and things that are hard to get out, and it's kind of non-invasive. I don't need to use a steamer and a lot of heat and things to get in there and it's worked pretty well for me, so I'm um, continuing to use that. I'm curious how you guys uh, blast out the seams um, without damaging the leather seats when you do details.
as you can see, this door panel is not too dirty. Just had a couple of drip things on there and um, some uh, dust and debris, but nothing real bad. It was in uh, pretty decent shape uh, door panel wise. The driver's door panel wasn't half bad. Now the pockets were destroyed, those inserts that I cleaned um, after I cleaned the floor mats. Um, those were pretty bad, but the overall surface of the door panel was in uh, pretty good shape. Here on the bottom of the seat, um, towards the upright part, can you see that right there where the, uh, it looks like it's almost melted or uh, kind of a weird burn. I'm not really sure what's going on there. I've never seen that on a leather seat before, but it was on the passenger um, and the driver's side uh, seat bottom. So I was kind of wondering what the heck was going on there to cause that.
here. I'm getting kind of into the home stretch, just uh, wiping everything down, uh, doing a final clean on the last remaining plastics and things. So the end is near. I can see it within sight and uh, feels good to be almost done. Um, I believe I just have the windows and the tire shine to do after this and just final touch ups. So we're almost there. Uh, this area was one of the few spots that needed to get uh, carpet bond and steamed. Uh, there was just a few areas that had some stains um, from drinks and things. So I did that real quick and then moved on to wrapping things up here. I'm really impressed by my steamer. It's uh, the McCulloch 1375. It does great. It's nice having on-demand steam uh, for pretty much as much as you need. Um, I've never really ran out of steam on it um, besides running out of distilled water. But um, besides that, the steamers work flawlessly, so I have no complaints, and it really helps uh, speed uh, details up with uh, extracting stains and just blasting through. Um, dirt and grime and stuff when I need to use it for that. Okay, so finally done. Uh, it's a little rainy out, but uh, you can definitely tell a big difference with the wheels and tires. They're uh, shined up and cleaned up real nicely. Friends looking nice. Uh, the I don't know if it's like a blue metallic or whatever, but the paint's really popping. Uh, it's looking real nice and clean. And uh, once we do a little walk around through here, uh, you'll be able to see the inside and see how that turned out. So. I'm pretty happy with uh, everything cleaned up. Got all that grit, um, bird poop, and just uh, dirt splattered all cleaned up off the outside. Trunk jams are looking great. Um, and this trunk is looking way cleaner. I mean, you knew what it looked like before, so it's looking pretty good now. These trunk jams are looking real nice and clean. Uh, there was a couple of pine needles stuck in the crack on that driver's side seam area, but wasn't able to get that perfect. But beside that, the jams, the uh, gas cap area looking great. So this thing is looking way better than it used to. And the customer was real happy. Uh, his daughter will be able to drive it again and uh, it'll be a clean SUV for a little while. So that's a good thing. It was kind of annoying. It had little fuzzy things that were kind of blowing in. Um, so I was picking them out as I saw them. But uh, this glove box was had a serious dampener on there and it opened and closed really slowly. But anyway, uh, this thing's looking way cleaner. All the glass, plastics, trims. There's some more fuzzies. Those stupid things. I couldn't get them out. Anyway, they were kind of blowing in from outside. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what those wires are. If you know, leave a comment uh, if you've ever seen those before. I've never seen a setup like that, so not sure what those did. But, um, this thing, it took me, I believe it was about four and a half hours uh, for inside and out. So not too bad. It wasn't in too bad a condition. Um, but it did take some, some effort and scrubbing and cleaning, so. Uh, I was 
happy with uh, how long it took and the price that I got, so it all worked out for the customer and myself. If you've made it to the very end, uh, be sure and leave a comment saying I did it. Thanks.